Good morning, Alia here. So in this video, I want to give like five days of meal plan ideas. I'm not going to explain how to do the carnivore diet or how much you need to eat on the carnivore diet. I just want to give you ideas of foods to eat because um, maybe sometimes people feel there's not enough variation in food, but I think there's a lot of variation in food and there's a lot of ways to eat and it's delicious. Okay. So day one breakfast, scrambled eggs and butter and bacon. Awesome. That's going to keep you very full and satiated. Lunch, Bacon cheeseburgers. If you can't do cheese, don't do cheese, but bacon and burgers, also delicious. Uh, stick around to the end. I'm going to give some very specific burger meat that I use um, that you're going to love. You're going to be surprised. You're going to love it. And I've saved that for the end of the video. Okay. Uh, dinner, ribeye or poor man's ribeye chuck steak, my favorite. Okay. So you need to find a butcher and you need to get the chuck roll. Most of the chuck steaks are very easy to eat. Some people say chuck is very hard to eat. Those you would cook slow cook or cook in your sous vide or slow, however you want to cook it. But most of the chuck roll is just a delicious steak and um, super easy to cook and super easy to eat. Okay, so day two breakfast omelet with ground beef. Totally yummy. It's my favorite go-to. So what I mean by omelet, you can make it an omelet with ground beef and just normally but what i like to do is just make an egg omelet and make it sort of like a tortilla and put the ground beef like as if it's like a taco or whatever or a breakfast burrito is really good um i've been eating that a lot lately it's very easy to make um two salmon and hard boiled eggs or soft boiled eggs pro tip use your instapot to either boil or soft boil your eggs um so easy to take the shell off and you don't destroy like half the egg like when you boil eggs for me it's very hard to get the shell off but instapotting it so easy to get the shell off okay dinner slow cooked pot roast sounds so good uh i would love to eat a pot roast right now day three uh breakfast soft boiled eggs and pork chops yes you can eat them for breakfast uh lunch could be chicken liver saute with butter uh with ground beef and bacon it's totally delicious i have a video about that and i will put the link for that video if you're interested in the description so you can see how to do it but basically that's how you do it it's really easy uh, so delicious dinner could be beef brisket. Absolutely amazing. So good. Such a fatty, delicious meal. Day four, you can eat my delicious chaffle. It's chicken, eggs, and cheese, and you make it into a waffle. I will put the, the video for that in the description. If you want to watch that and see how to make it, it's super simple. Lunch, you could try Courtney Luna's tuna melt, also delicious. And I will look for that video as well and put that in the description. And dinner is corned beef, one of my favorite amazing ways to eat beef. So good. And now we've arrived to day five, and I will call this the sausage day. So breakfast is uh, an omelet with whatever you want, uh, carnivore, maybe some cheese or whatever, or you can do a cheese and breakfast sausage omelet because I'm talking about breakfast sausage. Lunch could be liverwurst and boiled eggs, and dinner could be bratwurst. So yeah, definitely. We need to eat liver, and I think the, the gateway to liver is liverwurst. I love liverwurst. I've been eating liverwurst, liver sausage. Um, I used to eat it as a child. Uh, I loved it. I would eat it straight out of the uh, container, out of like the little tube. I still do that. Uh, and bratwurst. Bratwurst is delicious. I am from Illinois. I love bratwurst. It's one of my favorite foods. Delicious. Um on any of these things, the breakfast sausage or the liverwurst or the bratwurst, you want to get the best quality possible. You want to look at the ingredients and read them just to make sure you're not getting other stuff that's bad for the body in there. On the liverwurst or the bratwurst or even breakfast sausage, I would find a butcher that makes these and you can find the ingredients and you're going to get the best possible product that you could get, quality that you can get. And so I just want to add that in there because we want to put the best foods in our bodies. And definitely these foods can be very good, but they could also be full of junk. So you want to make sure on that, that you don't do that. The last thing is beef cuts that I love. So first is the chuck roll. Um, that is delicious. I love the chuck roll. Um, you can get a ton of steaks out of it. It's way cheaper than ribeye. Um, only parts of the chuck are very hard to eat, like very duro. Uh, sorry, hard to eat. Um, there's the Spanish coming out. And the rest of it's very easy to eat, and it's actually like a steak, and it only takes like a few minutes to cook up, so it's awesome. On the parts that are harder, you can like slow cook them, or you can cook them with your sous vide for however long you want, toss it in the oven, slow cook it, whatever. But most of that chuck roll is going to be delicious steaks. Okay, two, ground brisket. 
go to your butcher. Find a butcher that you love and that is going to help you on your carnivore journey. Ground brisket is delicious fatty meats to make some excellent burgers out of uh, ground neck. I don't know the like the technical term for that part. Again, ask your butcher, but ground neck is very fatty. So between those two, you get, and get a very fatty, delicious uh, hamburger. I like this next one to mix with either the brisket or the neck in its armpit. Again, ask your, your butcher what it's really called, but it's this very soft part uh, and it's not very fatty. So I like to mix the brisket in the armpit or mix the neck with the armpit so that I can have like a balance because just ground biscuit is a little too, for the texture, it's a little too fatty for me, but the combination of the armpit and brisket or neck is awesome and I think you will love it. I would like to know what your favorite go-to carnivore meals are. Let me know in the comments uh, and let me know if you like this video. Give me a like and I would love a subscribe. Thank you so much.